State health officials are reminding New Mexicans while it may feel like the pandemic is over, it's not. They gave an update today on the highly contagious Delta variant that is growing rapidly. News 13's Jessica Gatita is here with a look at where the state now stands. Well, Kim, the state's top doctor warns the Delta variant is on the move. It's now almost 60% of all infections in New Mexico. If you look back in April with all versions of COVID, you know, if someone in your house had uh, coronavirus, you had about a 20% chance, one in five, of getting the vaccine, of getting a COVID infection yourself. And this is with people being careful. Now it's up to 53%. So lots of quotes out there, but we think they think this virus is, this variant of the virus is spreading much more rapidly. You're much more likely to get infected. The New Mexico Human Services Department Secretary, Dr. David Scray, says the CDC reports 85% of new cases are in people not vaccinated, 6% partially vaccinated, and 9% in fully vaccinated people. But the Delta variant in New Mexico is moving slower compared to other states, and he believes we'll see an uptick around August. Around 64% of New Mexicans 18 and over are fully vaccinated, with around 96% of new cases in the state being people who are not fully vaccinated. Cases were way up, they came back down. We've had a nice flattening period, and now we're starting to see an upward trend and a concerning and somewhat steep upward trend in some states. Arkansas, Missouri, Texas, and Nevada all of whom have, happen to have lower vaccination rates than their neighbors. Dr. Scray is saying they're not sure what the vaccine distribution will look like in the future, so they are planning on different ways it will be given. The state today launched a new program focused on encouraging people to get back to seeing their doctors, and they hope anyone who hasn't gotten the vaccine will get one during those doctor visits. Kim? Okay, thanks, Jessica. Now, Dr. Scrace also added New Mexico is still vaccinating 27 people for every new case of COVID every day, which he says is still a good ratio.